Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving your disaster battle. Although I really shouldn't be calling it a saving your disaster battle, because this battle can't be won. Now I've realised that I haven't actually uploaded a defeat in a really long time, so I was just like, eh, this one, why, why not, why not? Alright, so let's get down the situation. So, we're playing as Lothurn, we've got a great army, all sisters of Avalon, right? And a bit of small garrison at Toran Rock, and we're up against three full stack armies. So I have no problem with this army apart from it being damaged. The problem is, of course, that you just you're gonna run out of ammo. So we're gonna go down swinging, and I'm just gonna do the best I can. But uh, there's no chance of victory. So you guys, let me know whether or not you enjoy these kind of like impossible last stand battles. I am under the impression that. You much prefer those battles where it looks like I'll lose, but then I'll, I'll end up winning. Or, I don't know. Oh, shit. So they got the Cult of Pleasure there as well, so they'll actually come in. So we're just, we've just denied one of their armies. Yeah, this is hopeless. There's, there's no hope in hell we'll win. I thought it was all just one Dark Elf faction. Yeah, we're doomed. Um, staying up on the towers isn't going to do anything. The archers won't fire very well there. Um, do they have any artillery of their own? Not really. We should be able to outrange whatever they've got. Alright, let's just get everyone off the walls first. And... How about put you there? Is that going to activate that tower? Yeah, but only this one. There no, there's not enough men in, in it to activate two. Uh, I guess I could leave this guy up here. It's not going to do anything, but whatevs. Let's see what kind of magic we got. I guess if I got hold on to 40 minutes, but we won't. Alright, uh, loads of magic here, but yeah. Zero percent chance of victory. This is utterly hopeless. There's no cheese I could possibly do. We'll just run out of ammo. Even if I'm 100% efficient with all of our ammo, we're just going to run out. This isn't the most defensible settlement, anyway. Um, are you on any kind of mounts? No? Okay. Actually, I might put you over here. Here, and I'll. Yes. I'll actually leave these three on the walls here because they'll actually do a lot of damage here while they're trying to get through. I think, and I'll bring you back over here. Awaiting orders. Ready. Orders. So yeah, my goal here is just to, to rack up as many kills as possible because I know I can't win. Also, it should also be stated, this is Vortex, not Mortal Empires. Not that that really makes that big of a difference for the battle's sake. Oh yeah, and they've got a Black Ark as well. Bombing us, adding insult to injury. Yeah, Cold One Dread Knights, they're amazing units. Look how well they hold up. Those Dark Shards aren't really going to be able to shoot very well there. Let's see, we probably should aim for them as opposed to... Mm, not sure, maybe maybe I should actually aim for the Black Guard Nagel. Hey, that actually worked out well because they actually hit their own unit there. So I believe Sisters of Avalon will actually beat Dark Shards in melee. Yes. Ready and able. 
Eh, it's not too much. Alright, we got some magic. Let's see here. Probably Chain Lightning will be best. We're just waiting for them to get as much of a cluster as possible first. So yeah, they're not going to get close to us, so that's fine, just let them shoot that. They're doing a pretty good job. No shields, so don't have to worry about shooting them from the flanks. What? How does it have some metal magic as well? This is a slaughter. Very good to shoot. So, yeah, none, none of them would be worth casting. So yeah, like we're slaughtering them, but the problem is we will just run out of ammunition eventually. Stop firing just yet. Because here's the thing. Since I know that we basically can't win, it'd be best to wipe out as many units as possible. So if, even if a unit, like, breaks and shatters, if there's a possibility we can wipe it out, bring it down to 5% or fewer troops, we should focus on doing that. So even though these Dread, dread Knights here have shattered, just get rid of them anyway. No, they're gone. They're, yeah, they're gone. They're gone. Because that'll mean you'll have less to deal with, or it'll take longer for them to recover. Guess I could do that now. It's not going to be great. There's just not enough of them clustered together. Even, even if they did listen to me, which they didn't, they wouldn't have uh, gotten out of the way in time. So yeah, everything looks alright at the moment, but like I said, as soon as we run out of ammunition, that's when it's GG. Should be on guard mode. It's great bombing their own units there. Fantastic. Just gotta keep them bogged down so they the archers can keep shooting. Because if it was just one or even two armies, I'd say that the the chances would be. Reasonable. Um, but three? No. Run out of ammo. Unless it was like all Hydras, because Hydras go down really quickly. From, from like, from this. But even then, if it was all Hydras, it, I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna need you to come in over here, block this over here. I wonder if maybe um, Curse of the Midnight Wind might actually be more useful in this scenario than um, Chain Lightning. Like, I can cast spells if I really want to right now, but none of them are going to do any, any real good. Alright, 
Now I got all these winds of magic here. By the end of the battle, we will have used most of it. It's just, it's just a matter of using it effectively. Don't waste it. out of ammo now. Hmm. Still wouldn't be worth it. So they're out of ammo, they should probably be moved up to the front. Yeah, try to get rid of that, that's a tier 5 unit. Not good enough just to route it, kill it. Is it dead? Come on, just a few more shots. Alright, this actually might be a good spot to cast a spell. Did we... Come on, oh no, it's another one. So yeah, we've killed one of them. But yeah, now now is where we uh, we fall to pieces because we are just out of ammo. Alright, uh, whoever's got some ammo, try to get. I don't know, I'm not going to be able to kill that budvax. There's another one over here. Oh no, that's Crown Hellebron. Okay, no. we're not, certainly not going to take her down. Probably be a waste of ammo even shooting at her. Keep this one alive as long as possible, but doesn't look good for it. Keep him alive as long as possible. This one is nearly dead. Oof. And there's the army loss penalty. We, we just used up too much ammo. Even though we didn't seemingly take up too much, uh, didn't take that many casualties before the army loss penalty. Because the ammo counts as, um, as, uh, just strength rating. Just there was no way in hell we were going to win. They still had too many troops remaining. But the amount of damage we did to them, like, we did more damage to them than they did to us. Um, hopefully these heroes and lords weren't too high level. I mean, that one definitely did look high level. Uh, probably not immortal, because didn't have arcane conduit, so if I had to guess... I, I, don't, I don't I have no idea. Losing a potion of strength doesn't matter, but unfortunately, I, I just there was no way in hell I was ever going to win that. And... Uh, the campaign itself doesn't look like it's in too bad shape, so I just thought I'd do what might be an interesting battle. I mean, you guys let me know with feedback. Do you want to see battles like that? Because I get battles like that all the time, and most of the time I'm just like, impossible, and I just throw it away. So I thought I'd do that one there to just gauge what you guys thought were on it. If you don't want to see battles like that again, um, you know, just let me know. Because um, I want to make what you guys want to watch. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Later, fuckers.